Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyner, and here we are, back at Feed the Beast, and first thing I want to make this episode is we're going to make Coke Oven Bricks. Now you need, I think it was 26 of these, because it's three high, it's basically three by three by three, but there's an open slot in the middle, and it just takes bricks and sand, which I went out and got the clay from out in the water. So, as you can see, I set it up to make just enough for that. And I even dug out this nice little hole for it. I've done a few small things since we were last together. It's one of the things you might have just gotten a short glimpse of the preparation for. But, um, if you're wondering what the coke oven is for, you s whoop, uh, here. I upgraded, th that's a gold chest and that's an iron chest. I got all this from down in that cave. I kept on taking trips down and trips down and trips down. I ended up with all this. And because of all that, I had to improvise. I made a powered furnace. So, that's that's fairly simple. Machine frame, we had to make that. Bricks, copper, reception coil, and a piece of redstone. Simple. I made the induction smelter, but I haven't used it yet. Um, oh, that's the induction furnace. It was just, it's pretty much exactly the same as, a lot of these machines are the same, they just have the, the difference is normally right about here, where these invar are, invar are. Um, now, in order to make power the powered furnace, I did make something else. It was a hobbyist steam engine. Now, this isn't that hard to make. Three gold nuggets, four gold nuggets, four gold nuggets. So, it is highly efficient. Let me just get rid of that. If you put water in it, and you put fuel here, or if I had a steam boiler, I could power it directly off of that. But, um, this coal coke, oops, coal coke, if I put, well, I got that from the mine chef, by the way. If I put one of those in there, that will heat it up to its max temperature of 500 degrees Celsius with just one of them. The hotter it gets, the more efficient it gets. Three coal coke can cook the entirety of about eight stacks of stuff. The coke oven, you take coal and you place it in the coke oven. And it takes a decently long time. But one coal gives you one coal coke. So... We're basically increasing the effectiveness of the coal, like, a lot. But, move on. Now, you remember the, the minium that I had, and I was looking at that. Well, here's the inert stone. We've got it all set up in here. Make that. We've got the shards of minium in here waiting for that. But, I'm going to take this one step further. I've got logs in here. I probably should have just shift-clicked that. Now, this has, I think it was 1,500 and something uses, so it's got a lot on it. I don't think I have anything else I wanted to make right away this episode. I had these in here, but I don't remember what they were for, to be honest. Oh, right, I want to make a magma crucible. That was, uh, those blocks were there so zombies didn't break down my door while I was sitting around smelting the world. Now, I want this somewhere... You know what? Let's just put it over here. I'm not going to put it in the cave this time. I've done that once before. We ended up with surprise ambush creepers. Um, so, oddly enough, my supply of cobble hasn't really uh, increased. Oh, god damn it. Uh, fuck. Hmm. Plarg. I don't want to make a diamond pick. Actually, I should. Because I have that fortune. Um, yeah, so... I didn't find a whole lot of diamonds down there, as I'm sure you noticed. But... This diamond pick, I'm not going to use it much. Oh, I forgot to show you this. Oops, that's you. I want to make an Omni Tool wrench, but for now I just made a Crescent Hammer. 
The Omnitool Wrench isn't really going to come into play until I start messing with uh, IC2. Now, this is extremely simple. It's just a silver and three iron. And that's for fixing those engines uh, and doing whatnot. But there's not... No, I also got some sulfur, which the only real use for that is you can make gunpowder and you can make, or er, make, yeah, make cool looking torches. At least I think they're cool looking. But I'm going to stash this pick away in this chest. You're wondering why there's extra tools there. That was due to a slight mishap. This is the thermal expansion steam engine. I made one of these, but... I'm going to be honest, I don't recommend it. I did some research into it after I made it to see how it compared to the hobbyist steam engine. If you're using more than one coal worth of power, the hobbyist steam engine will beat it. The more coal you're using, the more the hobbyist steam engine will d destroy it by in terms of efficiency. Because, yeah. Um, if you're wondering what the hobbyist steam engine is from, I believe it's added by Railcraft, which, meh, I plan on using mostly magmatic engines since it's easy to come by lava, and I'm going to be honest, if you can get a hold of the netherrack, you can actually create an infinite power source with magma crucibles and magmatic engines, but that shouldn't be necessary, so, um... I'm not going to need my crescent hammer in the nether. Or probably all that wood. Uh, or the bucket of water. Bucket of water is not going to help me there. Okay. I suppose. Off we go. I need. Well, I just need. In general. We need to go deeper, apparently. That's what we need. And I spawn in a giant massive block of soul sand. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make a waypoint that tells me where my portal is. And be in the largest set of soul sand ever, so I won't have any lack of that. Although I'm probably not going to be in th using Thalmcraft for a while. Which is what I mostly use it for. Uh, there's also the Soul Shards mod. I guess I would probably use it in that. But. That's not really high on my priority list either. And I'm not sure if I can make. I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure if the whole nether brick thing is in this copy of Minecraft. I th think that's the next version. It's an igniter. It's micro blocks. Compressor. Pulverizer. Induction smelter. Cool deal. Cool deal. I'm fine with that. Take some of that soul sand that I said I thought I wasn't going to use, but that I'm apparently going to. And if I have that machine set up right, my, er, my magmatic engine, which I'm now have infinite source of magma but uh, eventually I'm going to need to find a fortress eventually um, am I the only person that feels as though this is an extremely unsafe spot to be standing I didn't think so so I guess I only need one for every Four. I think I'm just gonna make what's this gonna make me 32 I think it was which is a fair deal I say uh, although I might have to I have no level left I didn't go down and get more like I was still operating off the same ones as before but I used all those and well I've got 10 for days See? Ten for days. 
So, I'm glad I made the induction smelter, though. Now, I should be able to wrench it around. There we go. It has a little bit. How much power can this take? Four. Okay. Lovely. Um, if I go away, this will not keep running because I don't have a chunk loader yet, but... Hmm. Actually, there's probably enough lava in here to make it. Why was I making another brick again? I think it was the magma crucible. Crucible? No, that's magmatic engine. Crucible. Another brick. And then I also want a liquid... You know, I really don't have a way to power these very well at the moment. Well, that's simple enough. So, I need a bucket. I need two glass. And... I forgot what the rest of it was. Crap. Oh, two copper. Okay. Boom. And I'll just use the top one. Oops. I might want to make the bucket first, huh? Now, how am I going to go about this? I might have to make more magmatic engines. Yeah. That does seem like the best option. You! Stop knocking on my door. Hmm. I can put this... somewhere. I'm starting to feel as though I'm outgrowing my, uh, my surroundings. So, let's figure this out. This is the liquid transposer. I'm not going to need to feed anything out of this, but I am going to need the blue to come in the top. I'm probably going to power it from behind. Like so. I'll probably put the levers there and the engines there. Um, how are you doing? You're done. Oh, I get sulfur out of that process too. That's cool. That is very cool. I'm, I'm quite pleased. I uh, wonder if I just say you. Powered furnace, pulverizer, sawmill, induction furnace, magma crucible. Two copper in a bucket. Simple, simple. So, if anybody's wondering why I don't appear to be doing my regular Let's Play at the moment, I'm going to be honest. I haven't been keeping up on whether or not the redstone update's out yet, but I don't want to do anything in it till it comes out, because if I build anything with redstone, unless it's super stupid simple, it's going to break it. In fact, my current enchanting table setup I have going is probably going to break, and I might have to redo the entire thing. So, that's going to suck. But, I can theoretically use, I think it's hoppers, I can make use of those in a way where I can basically use it like the toggle latch. How do I make magmatic engine again? I'm terrible. I, oh, uh, invar. Okay, I'm going to need two of those. And it was one, two, three, one, two, three, so two of those plus... 16 and then I'm going to need I'm going to need two pistons four gears uh, reception coil or emission coil I think crap well if I just press U on the invert and get it is transmission coil, which is silver. One, two, three, four. The spider outside. One, two. Oh. Okay. 
Oops. Bah. I'm doing really bad at clicking. If you haven't noticed. Uh. I seem to have one more iron than I need. But that's fine. Piston. Pliston. Pliston? Pliston. Need. Two redstone. Sorry if me building this contraption is slightly not entertaining. Uh, my wood is right here. That's not enough. You know, I might as well just leave some in this table. Do do. Oh, come on. Should I make a plan for this? I think I might, because there's a very good chance I might create many of them in the future. Ooh, just make three blank plans. Why not? Magmatic engine plan. Okay, so I need to go get some magma. But... Shut up, zombie. Wow, I just heard more ice falling off of my roof. The roof of my house. If I ever bought a house, like a proper house, it is going to have anti-spider insurance on it. Basically, no spiders will spawn on my roof. Am I bringing anything with me I don't... I, I don't need? Or should I say, things I'm not willing to lose? I'm bringing all my nether brick. That doesn't really concern me. Now, how hard is it going to be to get down to the lava lake? Uh... More difficult than I had previously imagined. So, I might make a gravity gun. It just takes glowstone, apparently. If you want to make the supercharged one, you have to use a nether star. Or get struck by lightning. While holding the regular one. I don't know about you guys, but somehow I feel as though the situation is about to go... It's extremely hazardous to my health. Why is the level only one deep here? Is it me or does it seem like some of this lava is just reappearing? Seriously, have I not collected a lot of this lava already? I'm just kind of ending up with more? Whatever. Well, isn't this just boring footage? Me collecting lava with empty cells. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that for some reason it didn't glitch and not actually give me 64. Some of them might have reverted to empty cells or something. I've had it happen. But, anyhow, so I think, I, I was thinking about the engines and the best way to make Minecraft jewels. And I think in terms of engines with the highest possible output, the forestry electrical engines, when fully upgraded for power, have the highest output. Magmatic engines probably have the best renewable... Well, actually, 
The electrical engines could be powered by solar panels, so they technically have the best renewable power. But I wish to avoid going down the industrial craft line just at the moment, as I've said way too many times. I've just noticed I keep saying it, so. To me. Sulfur? Sulfur. What? So here's my plan. Clearly, I have power, but I'm starting to gain machines. So, the first thing I need to look at is the redstone energy cell, which takes electrum and lead in a conductance coil, which also takes electrum. So each one of these takes four. I only really need one to start off. Now, this takes 1,600 millibuckets, or one bucket, worth of redstone, and I think each redstone gives, like, 25 or something like that. But I need one of these first, which means I then need these, and more electrum. Is there an easier way to make electrum, like, with the uh, induction furnace? No, no, no. Yes. Yes, there is. Lovely. So I'm going to take... You know what? Let's take 10 lead and 10 silver. That'll give me either 10 electrum or 20. No? What did I do wrong? Oops. Uh, actually, no, that's pretty much what I wanted to click. Sort of. Induction smelter. Oh, gold and silver. Derp. 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 I derped that. I don't know how I got the lead out of that situation. I seriously have no idea how I came upon lead when I knew it was gold. So... Do, well, I have plenty of power. Let's just throw some back into this machine. I really want to get a redstone energy cell made this episode for sure. I've got enough redstone. I should be able to make at least one and hopefully enough of the pipes. The pipes, I think, are a little bit expensive. Um, plus, there's the downside of... I need obsidian. And unfortunately, my only real source of obsidian is this. I'm just going to make seven at the moment. Minium stone, go back in the table. That's that's my only real source of obsidian. Whoops. Do I still need to pulverize it before I induction it? That is the question. Because if I do, that would make me very sad. Yes, I do. Mm, I think it has enough power. Screw it. I've got this wrench. I've got some lava. Let's just throw some power at it. And of course, it's outputting it into this chest. Oh, come on. I feel like I'm wasting your time, just sitting here, waiting for obsidian dust. But I'm sorry. But I need the obsidian dust, because I need hardened glass, because I need the hardened glass to make the energy cells and the energy conduits. Which... conduits are made from an energy conduit empty using 50 millibuckets which is made from two electrum and some hardened glass, and you get four of them. Lovely, lovely. I could do that. And I needed four electrum for the energy set. No, no, I needed I need more than four. I need eight, right? Well, crap. I need more electrum. 
10 more should do, right? Or 20, I guess, technically. Do, 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 do. Um, okay, so I need a diamond. I need... What? Oh, iron furnaces. I kept clicking them by accident. Anyhow, one, two, three, four. One. I said one. One, two, three, four. And that is an empty cell. Place said empty cell right there. Stop this guy, because he's done. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hopefully I don't need too much more glass. We need at least a stack of redstone. One, two, three, four. We good? This can take up to 30, which means this is going to take a while. A long while. How much does it take to actually make molten redstone? Will it tell me? That's shapeless crafting. Brewing. Alloy furnace. Shaped IC2. Okay, we're back after a slight crash. Uh, while it was crashed, I decided to look and see how much... Oh, God. Uh, what the time is at. Now, I'm just going to do a quick review. Uh, basically, I'm at... 60... 60? No, not 60. Uh, it was at 26 minutes, which... Getting close to half an hour, so I figure if I do a quick review of things I'm going to do while I'm off camera, between episodes here, uh, it should make things better. So, I'm going to make a redstone energy cell. This is going to be s simple enough, it's just going to take time. That's made, the base frame you saw me make, it's made with that. After I fill it up in the liquid transposer, three electrum, plus one electrum there, so there's four electrum, two redstone, and some lead, and that'll make that. And then I'm going to make some of these. I might make more than I've already put there, but it takes two redstone to make each one of them, which... Honestly, isn't that bad, so. Now, those are just made with hardened glass and electrum. And then I put them in here, and then I end up with a redstone energy conduit. And I believe that's the end of it. It's just done. It's a usable product now. And then, I think that's about all I'm going to do for now. Uh, all these engines are going to be wired in until I... I'm going to need to make some tesseracts eventually, but I might power these machines off of uh, off the hobbyist steam engine. I might make some more or whatever. Look at this. We've only managed to get nine of it so far, and I'm going to have to find a way to get rid of the creosote. I'm going to have to start putting it into cells, I think. That's actually not a bad idea. I should make some. I got plenty of tin, so... It should be simple enough. I should just be able to place the cells in the top slot. And then it should just fill them up as enough gets in here. Hello? Am I wrong? Can I not? Crease out in empty cells? I pressed U, which is not quite what I want to do. I want to search for cell. I see no creosote. Crap. Creosote. Things I can put you in. Creosote can, apparently. Creosote bottle. I don't think bottles stack, so that doesn't help me. I think these cans, I'm not sure. Um, can't, oh, okay, okay, I wasted some tin, sort of, not really, I'm not going to say I wasted the tin, because I can actually use it, if that makes sense, so I need five crafts worth, which is 15, what, 12 times 5 is 60, I need four, okay, so you can't make an even number, 
I can't make an exact stack with these. Boo hoo. Eh, 60 will do. Boom, boom, boom. There. And then those will just dump into that to make sure this doesn't fill up. But this can handle. I think that's like two stacks of coal worth of creosote oil. But, uh, yep, I'll get working on this. I'll get this set up. I might have to expand my horizons a slight bit. But the, uh, the redstone energy cell means if I leave an engine on, there's going to be no wasted power. The machines will always have their max power. And I could theoretically use one engine to power all my machines. But, uh... I think what I'll do is I'll get those ready, but I, w ooh, but I won't use them. I might go out try and find some more redstone. Whoops! Look at that. That is expensive. Hmm. Make water out of snowballs. Nice. Wow! It takes twelve hundred to make twenty-five millibuckets. So, yeah, that's gonna take a little while. Look at that. Molten Ender. I just like how the stuff looks, but it actually has practical uses. But uh, I'm going to call this good for now. And uh, next time we'll be redesigning, probably even rebuilding a lot of the place here. I w I've decided I think I want to go find a gigantic mountain to live in the side of. Because I don't know why. I love living in mountains, but I want to use some of the red power stuff to build my door. I'm going to build just a massive underground complex, but it's not, unlike my hardcore series, I don't plan to go down, really. I'll go down a little bit, probably for the power sources. I'll put them, like, in the basement. But the rest of it, I think I'm going to build up until I end up out the top of the mountain. So, I may have a little bit of insight on what I want to do, but it'll be a while before I get around to that part. Ugh. Look at that. It's terrible. I'm going to have to get some more lava long before this is done, I'm sure. But, uh, yep. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.